The reality is that setting up a no-fly zone would lead to a direct confrontation between NATO and Russia. And that is not what we are looking at. What we are looking at is making sure that the Ukrainians are able to defend their own country with the best possible selection of anti-tank weapons and anti-air uh, defence systems. And I agree with everything that the Foreign Secretary said. Kylie, we need to we need to move on. Please go ahead. Could we have Sarah Smith at the BBC, please? Uh, after the direct strike on a children's hospital in Mariupol, President Zelensky is asking you both and NATO to stop the killings, close the skies, he says, and that if you don't, you are an accomplice to terror. How do you explain to him that there is no possibility of a no-fly zone in these circumstances? Well, as I've said, Sarah, the best way to help protect the skies is through anti-air weaponry, which the UK is now going to be supplying to Ukraine. That's what the Defence Secretary announced earlier today. And of course, the attack on the hospital is absolutely abhorrent, uh, reckless and appalling. And the UK is at the forefront of supplying humanitarian aid into Ukraine. Uh, we've already pledged 220 million of humanitarian aid. Our, our DEC appeal has now reached 130 million. Uh, which is the largest amount it's ever achieved since 2004. So the British people are full square behind the people of Ukraine, and we're doing all we can to support.